this is Jack Berry again at uh, Otsego Club, Hidden Valley, and talking with Mark Hogan, who is the uh, golf director here for 20 plus years. Uh, back in the day, I believe, I was working down at the TPC at Sawgrass back in 1986, and a friend of mine by the name of Scott McGregor was a member here at Otsego Club. Actually, back then, it was Hidden Valley. And uh, he had told Dick about me and about my wanting to get back to Northern Michigan. I just had graduated from uh, Fair State University in the golf program. And uh, he had told uh, Dick about myself. And he and Keith Gornick had flew down to Jacksonville, Florida to talk to me, take me out to dinner with me and my family to see if we'd be a good fit for Hidden Valley. And, you know, lo and behold, that's how my, how my history of Otsego Club started back then, back in 1986 when Keith and Dick Weber had flown down to Jacksonville to, to talk to me about the possibility of coming up here for a job. And, and uh, we both liked each other, and both parties uh, had a great fit together, and here I am still here today. Well, and you, uh, have, uh, you're pretty active with the high school uh, team here too, right? Yeah, exactly. I've been helping uh, my friend Tom Johnson, who is the golf coach here in town and you know I always start the season by uh, helping them as much as I can although with the high school sports they've changed the golf season now to the springtime which as everybody knows is really tough for golf pros to have any free time because they're busy setting up the, their own season but you know um, in the past I've helped them they're they're more than welcome to come and use our driving range they, they use this as their home course for the season and and uh, it's always near and dear to me because we've been uh, you know, I'm helping them for a real long time, and we won this uh, high school state finals when I was in high school, so I love high school golf. That was uh, how many years ago? <laughs> Jeez, that was in 1975, okay, yeah, when I, was, uh, when I was a sophomore. That you know, wonderful year. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. You know, uh, I was the fourth guy on the team, and, you know, back then it was so much different because now they have five guys and you count four. Back then you had four guys, and that was it. So if you had 120, you had to count 120 as your score. <laughs> You know, I think that the, the Tribute Golf Course is just a phenomenal course. You know, I always describe it as it's on 1,100 acres. It's it's seven miles around, and and uh, we're still, I think, in the midst of trying to get that message out to a lot of golfers. I don't think everybody knows about the Tribute. Um, every year we look forward to that, and again, the 10 percent over last year, I think, is an, is an indicative of uh, the success that we've had so far. Well, I've, uh, I've told you before, too, that a tribute, I think that it's a wonderful golf course. It is so much fun to play, and it's uh, just great. You get a lot of, uh, a lot of drop shots, which uh, everybody likes. Right, for sure. <laughs> you know, and something we talked about earlier is that uh, the different tee pad locations on the golf course is something that, uh, you know, makes the course a lot of fun to play. And, and with the, uh, the PGA's new promotion, you know, hit uh, where you're the most comfortable at on the golf course those tees out there lend that kind of an experience you know the forward tees are 5,000 yards and if you want to go all the way back they're about 7,400 yards so there is quite a huge adjustment as far as the length of the course and uh, depending on your ability you can still have a good time and enjoy all the nice scenery on the course as well. Well it's great it is a beautiful golf course and then when you get down there around the is it the ninth to tenth holes with right. the Sturgeon River going uh -huh. through there? Yeah, and that's really nice. You know, and I, I've always described the tribute as the course where when you play a hole, you don't know what's next until you get to the hole. You know, and uh, you know a lot of the courses in the area, or even you know, downstate as well. You know, you, you can see hole number ten from hole number four. You know, here you can't see any of the holes until you get to that tee, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Well, that's terrific. So, folks, come on out and play the tribute uh, this coming summer.